Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you how to play the song A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then at the end I'll break it down and explain it to you in more detail. So make sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. All right, for this song, we're going to be using five chords from the C chord family. We're going to be starting off with an F over C chord, and this is a great F alternative within the C chord family. We don't have to bar anything for this F, so it's a great alternative to use. But for this one, we want to make sure that we start our strumming on the A string and that we mute that low E string with our thumb, and we're going to strum from the A string down. 
The next chord that shows up is the C chord, which is the root chord for the whole song. And to get to the C from the F over C, I'm just going to pick up my pinky and then take my second finger and move it down to the second fret of the D string. And that's my C chord. You also just want to make sure not to strum that low E string for the C as well. You want to start your strumming on the A string. From here, we're going to go to an A minor 7 chord. And to get there from the C, super easy. All we're going to do is pick up our third finger like this. And that's it. So we're going to go from C to A minor 7 with just removing that one finger. And for this chord, we also want to just strum from the A string down, so those five strings. We don't want to play that low E string for this chord also. From here, we're going to go to the G chord, and that G we're going to play like this with our second, third, and fourth finger. And the reason is it just makes transitioning within the C chord family a lot easier. This is going to be the only chord within the whole song that we're going to actually strum all six strings. The last chord that shows up is a D minor chord, which we're going to play like this. And the only thing we need to really pay attention to with this D minor chord is to start our strumming on the D string. So we don't want to play the E or the A string for this chord. We need to start on that D string, and that D needs to resonate nice and clearly. For strumming, we're going to be using the sway pattern, which is a nice, simple three-beat strum pattern. We're going to have three down strums, and then we're going to add an up strum after beat two and three. We want to make sure that we put our emphasis on beat one. So every time we start the measure over again, we want to strum harder on that first beat. So I'm just going to hold the C chord and play that strum pattern while I'm counting the beats out loud so you can hear what's going on. One, two, and three, and 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 one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.